intersection of line and the plane. Determine point of intersection between line and the plane if it exists, if any. Okay, so the line here is minus 1, 3, 4 plus p, 6, 1, minus 2, where p belongs to real numbers, and pi equals to x plus 2y minus z plus 29 equals to 0. Now, to find the intersection of line on the plane, the best way is to write this in the parametric form, so you get x, y, and z and substitute those values here in this equation and find the value of p the parameter right and then plug in p and get the points right so we'll do that so we say x could be equal to general point is minus 1 and 6p plus 6p and y is equals to 3 plus p and z is equals to 4 minus 2p correct so we'll plug these points in our equation for the plane, which is x plus 2y minus z plus 29 equals to 0. So instead of x, we can write minus 1 plus 6p plus 2 times, instead of y, I'll write 3 plus p minus z, instead of z, we'll write 4 minus 2p, right, plus 29 equals to 0. Okay? Now we can open the bracket and then combine the like terms. So we get minus 1 plus 6p plus 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2p minus 4 plus 2p plus 29 equals to 0. Right? And now we can combine the numbers and the variables. Right? So minus 1 plus 6 is 5 plus minus 1 is plus 1 plus 1 plus 29 is plus 30, correct? And as far as p's are concerned, 3p and 2p, 6p, 6p and 7 and 2, 8p. So 8p plus 30, right? So that gives us that p equals to, from here we can say p equals to minus 30 over 8, right? Which is, can be simplified as, uh, okay, let me just check again. The values of so the numbers let me just check 1 and minus 6p 2 times 3 plus p and 2 times and uh, minus 4 plus 2p plus 29 so we get 6 and 2 7 8 8 and 2 10 6 into 8 plus 2, 10, yeah. So this is 10 for us, sorry, 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 this is 10 for us. So we get P equals to minus 3. Okay, so that's what it is. P is 6 plus 2, 8 plus 2, 10, right? So P is minus 3 for us. Since we know P is minus 3, we can plug in this value here and get our X, Y, and Z, right? So we get X equals to minus 1 plus 6 times minus 3 which is minus 1 minus 18 which is minus 90 and y is 3 plus minus 3 which is 0 and z is equals to 4 minus 2 times minus 3 which is 4 minus and minus becomes 6 plus and that gives us 10. So we get the point. So the point of intersection for us is x value of minus 19, y value of 0, and the z value of 10. So that's the point of intersection, okay, between the two lines. Okay, so be careful with the calculations. You may sometimes miss out on numbers, right? Okay.